Hey guys, welcome and thank you for joining. Today's video is all about my top 10 favorite lipstick combinations for all skin tones. And the reason I say that is because oftentimes spring and summer lipsticks, depending on the shade or the intensity or the undertone, can really make you look washed out. I've chosen 10 lipstick combinations and shades that will look good on everybody. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Mona and we talk about beauty, lifestyle, and bridal. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. I like to bring you guys new videos, tips and tricks every week. All right, let's just get started. Started. I've already done my makeup. I'm just going to be switching out my lipsticks. My lips are going to get a little, little raw, <laughs> just taking on and off. But I'm also going to show you guys how to go from one lipstick shade to the next without ruining your entire makeup or getting smudges everywhere. All right, I'm rambling. Let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to zoom you guys in just a bit so that you can really see um, the lipstick shade, the application, how I apply. So my biggest thing is i have a lot of natural pigment to my lips i have nothing on my lips right now and i have a lot of natural color so what i like to do is i take a little bit of concealer on a foundation brush or a little bit of foundation and especially if i'm going to use bright colors or colors that i don't want the undertone to change i'll conceal over my lips just so that my lip liner has something to stick to and i get the truest color of what i'm applying I love my natural lip shade, but when you're going to apply a lipstick and you have a lot of undertone naturally, it just becomes very difficult. I'm going to start with one of my personal favorite lip combinations. This is the Laura Mercier Hazelnut Tea Lip Liner. This is such a beautiful neutral liner with a slight warm RNG coral undertone. I really like this lip liner because of the way it applies. It's very smooth, very creamy, but it's a beautiful nude lip shade. And sometimes I'll even wear this by itself with nothing else and it's just so beautiful I'm going to be pairing that with the covergirl colossal coral matte lipstick this is really beautiful as a combination and I have never seen this shade look bad on anyone this is just such a beautiful peachy coral pink tone and the two together really add such a perfect spring combination of lip. I'll be going in with this lip liner more than once today. So this is a creamy matte. It is really beautiful. The Melted Pout Collection by CoverGirl is really nice because it's like a satin matte. It's not a very dry matte, which I personally prefer. Look how beautiful this lipstick combination is. I love this. It's really nice for anyone who doesn't want to go into such a bright shade of lipstick but really wants something. This is great for any of my matte girls. Anyone who likes a matte lipstick, you can also apply a gloss, but by itself even is very beautiful and very spring appropriate. So I always like to go in and remove the makeup wipe. That way it doesn't get crazy everywhere else. Going back into my concealer brush and just adding a touch of concealer to the brush to help eliminate any of that color, like I said before. Next, I'm going in with the, this is one of my favorite, this entire collection, the Extreme Matte Collection by Laura Mercier is really beautiful. I love their lip liners, but I also really love their lip crayons. I'm actually going in with three different shades today. That's how much I love this product. So this is the shade Bring It, and they're really nice because they're easily sharpenable and they just sharpen up their twist and I really like these because you really get a nice precision to your lipstick. This is more of like a hot pink, it's very pretty. So this is such a beautiful lipstick by itself. I also like to go in with a liner just to give it a little more definition. This is the Laura Mercier Rich Mauve Lip Liner. This is like really, really pretty and bright. This is such a fun color for anyone who's not afraid of having a bright lipstick. What's also really nice is that the undertone of this lipstick in general is not one that's going to be unflattering on all skin tones. This would look beautiful on someone who's more fair. This would also look really beautiful on someone who has a deeper olive skin tone or even more of a rich brown skin tone. It is such a beautiful lipstick shade that I have found looks gorgeous on everybody. And especially if you have like a softer eye like I do today or softer makeup, your lip really becomes a, a really, really nice focus. And when I wear this lip shade, 
I usually wear like a bright pop of color as well. So like I'll wear white, white is gorgeous, but I'll also have like a pop of magenta somewhere to really bring out the color of the lipstick. My next favorite lipstick combo is another La Mercier combination. This one is called Sore. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not very good at this. This is actually a very, very bright orange. So if you're not someone who likes orange lipstick, I would skip this one. Also using the lip liner called Red Velvet on top. So I like the combination of these two lips. I like to fill my lips in with this shade, leaving the center of my lips a little more open. And this is giving going to give me more of an ombre effect with the orange. The orange lipstick by itself, I'm not a huge fan of, but when combined with this really pretty pinkish coral or lip liner, it is so pretty. And then I like to just press it into my lips to really blend the two shades. I love the combination of this lipstick with this lip liner. It just gives such a beautiful corally orange feel. It is so bright, it's so fun. It really is like, I don't know, every time I wear this lipstick, I feel like I have a shade of flowers on my lips. I don't know, it's a beautiful lip color and it looks so beautiful when it's on. My next favorite spring summer lipstick is called Bounce by Tarte Cosmetics. This is just an all matte lip shade and it's really nice for anyone who wants to experiment with color but is too scared to try anything too bright. This is like a perfect in between. It's like a really beautiful pink um, and it adds some beautiful depth and dimension to the lips without being too bright and too obnoxious if you're scared of that you know this is like a transition shade for me from summer to fall or from winter to spring and the reason is because it's a little deeper than like a spring or summer bright shade but it's light enough to bring some color to your wardrobe and to your entire look so okay my next favorite lip stick this is called saver by doll 10 this actually comes in a entire lip packet i think it comes with a ton of lipstick shades it's six of them it's lip crayons i really like this one this one's called saver and it's another one that's really nice for spring and easing into color without it being too extra this is in a crayon form and i love this one because of how hydrating it is on the lips this is such a beautiful formula for anyone who prefers something more creamy more satin more hydrating this is great for anyone who prefers that type of lipstick this one's really nice because it's not so drying and it gives a beautiful color to the lips okay so my next lipstick combo i'm going to go back to red velvet by la mercier and then i'm going to mix in wink by it cosmetics this is such a pretty lipstick combination the IT Cosmetics lipstick comes in two formulas, matte or cream. I prefer the cream formula, but in combination with this lip liner, it's so pretty. This is another lip combination that's not so matte and has a little bit of a creamier finish to it. So this next lipstick is another one by the IT Cosmetics collection, but this one is going to be in the matte collection. This shade is called Marvelous, and this is like a really, really bright pink, and I really like this. This is like Barbie Barbie pink, but I'm here for it. This is really pretty for anyone who is daring and looking for a beautiful bright shade to play with. I love this lipstick shade. It's so pretty when it's on. It's so bright, it's so vibrant. It is so fun, but it's not overpowering or too neon in a sense, you know? And the formula is so nice, guys. Like, although it's a matte formula, it's so creamy. Like, my lips just feel so hydrated and so nice, and I haven't done a red lip yet. So this one is called... This is another one from the Velours Extreme Matte Lipstick Collection by Laura Mercier. This is one of my personal favorites. This one's called Dominate. And I love the lipstick shade itself. It's just such a beautiful, very vibrant, pinky red lipstick. For anyone who likes like a really deep pink magenta with a slight hint of red, I guess you could say, I find this to be more like magenta and bright and more pink rather than red, but it is like in between the two. I love this lipstick shade. It's so pretty, so fun. Again, in the pink family. The next shade I'm going to go into will be red, I promise. So this is one of my personal favorite summer reds. And I love, love, love this lipstick. The only issue is it literally does not come off, which is why I've left it to so late in the tutorial. This is such a beautiful orange red. This is by the, it's the double-ended L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick Collections. It comes with the like hydrating glossy chapstick side along with the liquid lipstick side. And this is really pretty because it's like a true orange red. 
I love this for the summer and if you want a lipstick that does not move and stays on for like three days this is the lipstick for you I'm not kidding when I tell you this stuff does not move I'm sure they have a few colors in this collection I just know the red is just one of my favorites it's like such a beautiful red guys look how beautiful this red lipstick is all right guys we're on our last lipstick okay so this is just one of like my favorite more neutral springy combos it's actually nothing too crazy to be quite honest it's just like a really pretty pinkish gloss with a lip liner so i'm going to use the hazelnut tea lip liner again by laura mercier the reason i love using this lip liner especially with a lot of my spring looks is because it is like a neutral brownish lip liner and it just really defines my lips without adding too much color Okay, now that I've used my lip liner, the next thing, um, I really love, love, love this lip, lip gloss. This is called Must Have Gloss Brilliant by Bare Minerals. This is one of my favorite glosses for the spring and summertime, and I love the applicator. It's just super soft. And this is just a really stunning pink-ish wash of color with a nude lip liner. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed sitting through my top 10 favorite lipstick combinations for the spring and summer. I personally enjoyed making this video. It just like re-inspired me to bring color into my makeup application. Something as simple as keeping, like I kept my whole face the same the whole time, like a neutral makeup look, but a bright lip or a pop of color or something with some vibrancy can really honestly brighten up your entire look. So I hope I've inspired you guys the way that this has inspired me, honestly but thank you guys for sticking by if you haven't yet subscribed please don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye guys